if you want to survive as a musician, and I want to see if this applied to you as a, um, from going from like a recording engineer, transitioning into a music video director, um, having multiple streams of income. Um, I know you said you quit everything when you went full time for music video director, um, but then you also have like a website, so you sell your t-shirts. Um, how has that played out for you over the years? It, it's a double-edged sword. Um, I think at first you need to, you can't be too picky. Like if you're mm. starting off as a director, you have a camera, you shot a couple of videos, blah, 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 blah. You, yeah. you know, you kind of know what you're doing. You can't be too picky. You have mm. to take what you can get and you have to work and you have to do I don't know, the, the bands you really don't like, the yeah. wedding videos, whatever. You have to just do everything you possibly can get. And just, you know, you have to hustle. Yeah. But I think there comes a point where that starts to be the double-edged sword mm. if the sword flips over. And it's cutting you now. You have, there's a point where you have to focus more on certain types of people, certain types of bands. Like, I'm in that now. I work with a, a, a pretty big niche, mm. but I definitely do work with a niche. Like, mm -hmm. I focus more on a certain feeling and a certain looks and certain edginess mm. and it i don't actually have a lot of sources of income i've actually put all my cards on red yeah i have the t-shirts yeah. because i have to promote but that's still mm -hmm. promoting for the music videos so, yeah um and i don't really make a ton off of that i made mm. a good amount of money the first week but that was yeah that that's not my main source of income by any means mm. and i actually think there's a point where you really have to focus on what you you're passionate about and that's it you have to focus on what you're passionate about, and then you could expand. Mm. I think. Interesting. I think it it it, it will come full circle, but yeah. you, I I have made more money by focusing on my community and people that respect my work, as opposed mm. to trying to get people that don't respect my work. Mm. If that makes sense. It does. So to kind of expound on that, um, to make sure I heard that right. So it's you you start off. Take what you can get. Take exactly everything that you can get. Get as much experience by. as you can. Get yeah. shot on all day. Yeah. Let, get disrespected. <laughs> have your camera blow up. Get robbed. Whatever. Yeah. The all whole that stuff. Bang. And then really focus on what you're passionate about, what you're good at, what you love, what you could do for the rest of your goddamn life. Mm. Be happy. Go home. See your wife. Everything. Yeah. All that. And focus on that. And then once that's settled and you have a niche, it's the keyword mm -hmm. niche, then you know you could, I don't know, open a restaurant. You could... Mm -hmm. Open, and then go from there. Do whatever you want. You could invest in, in bitcoins. I don't know. But <laughs> you have your main source. Yeah. And I think finding what you were happy with, your mm -hmm. number one, your key, your, your meat and potatoes is, is very important. Mm. Do you think a lot of people have that same perspective in your industry? Probably not, actually. Um, I think a lot of guys really, they figure out what they like to do and then they just, they just do whatever they can and just put a part of themselves into it. Mm. And I think there's just a point where there's respect, but at the same time, I don't know. I think I'm kind of an anomaly because mm. I do something very niche. -y. I do aggressive music.